Okay, now we're going to talk about another aspect of the swing that I think causes some confusion. Um, again, we're using Gears 3D Motion Analysis here at David Tom's Academy. And this is a PJ Tour player. And the topic we're going to discuss today is the concept of wide to narrow. And you hear it a lot. I think people are, are, are really confused by it. And I see it on the driver range a lot. They're trying to achieve this during their swing. It causes a lot of poor shots, deep divots, um, and steep downswings. Now, let's look at the swing here first. And I put up the club head path. In gears, I can show the center of the club face throughout the swing any, any way I want to look at it, really. But we'll start with face on. And you're going to see this club path trace a wide arc and a narrowing arc. And definitely it looks that way, and that's what you're seeing uh, when you're watching good players. But the problem becomes is when people try to figure out why that's happening. And most people, when they try to create the shape of their swing, they try to do it by pulling down and pulling their arms closer to their body right here in transition. And that's not what happens. The reason that you get this narrowing is because on the back swing, you don't have as much wrist cock. Let's say right here, this is the farthest the club will ever get away from the target. So you don't have a lot of wrist cock and your pelvis is basically where it is when it started in space. So you, you turn here, but there's no real slide into the right with the pelvis. So you create a wide shape. Now coming down, because of um, the dynamics of the swing, the wrist cock will delay or delay uncocking. And because of that, and the fact that your pelvis is moving toward the target, that's why you get the narrowing. So because the wrist arm is cocked here, they're more cocked here, you get this narrowing effect. Now, the cool part about gears and something that we can see is these joint angles over here. So let's pay attention to his right arm. So at address, his right elbow is 8.59 degrees of bend. So, and again, uh, this is another day for another video, but nobody has straight arms anywhere during the swing. There's always some bend in the, in the joints. So at the, as he goes back, you're going to see him fold that right elbow. Most of the tour players get it between 70 and 90 degrees. I would say he, he tends to keep his a uh, little less bent at 72 degrees. Now, what most amateurs do here to try to get the swing arc to go narrow is they collapse this angle even more. So they would, they would collapse that beyond 90 to 100 as they come down to, to create the narrow shape, but that's not how it works. Watch his right elbow. He actually starts expanding it again. So at no point does he narrow his arms up. You can see that number go from 72s 73, 74, so a little bit, maybe two degrees, which is next to nothing. That's just because of the motion of the body pulling on his arms. And then from there, he's expanding that elbow, widening it all the way down. We'll look at a different perspective here. We'll go where on top of the elbow so you can see that motion. There it goes, expanding, expanding, expanding all the way to the ball. And then finally, it gets almost back to straight again in this post kind of impact position parallel to the ground. He's at 9.5 degrees. But again, wide to narrow, another, another basically a swing myth. You want to, that's going to happen if you keep your arms, your arm width, make a nice weight shift, and the dynamics of the motion here will create some lag. But at no point do you want to pull your arms in closer to your body and collapse the, the uh, arms. So hope that helps you out. We're trying to get to some truth to the swing here by using 3D. Uh, motion analysis so we measure what the best players are doing and we can help you if you ever want to come in for a gears lesson we're here uh, but i'll keep putting out these videos for you if you have any questions uh, leave it in the comment section below uh, or have any comments in general or if there's another topic of the swing you want me to cover i can do that for you as well just let me know we will see you in the next video